You go through your life. Everything's cool. A couple times a week at the gym. Sex is pretty okay. So what happens? Somehow life is just a little off. He's not alone. There are another 69,999,000 of you walking around out there wondering how you are going to make it through the day. That's one third of America. Let me ask you something. How'd you sleep last night? My wife and I live on a nice block in Hoboken, New Jersey. I still got my job. Some of my friends don't. The way it started was with these pains in my chest. And I'd get them at night lots of times. They wake me up. And I'd be sweating. My heart felt like it was going to jump right out of my chest. And the more scared I got, the worse they got. And I'd try going back to sleep, but... He tried everything. Hot milk, taking a bath, watching TV. Finally, I'd just give up and read or something. My wife was ready to kill me, but... Hey, since I thought I was going to die anyway, I figured, what the hell? But what's a few sleepless nights among friends? You get to read that novel you never finished, watch late night TV, stargaze. Anyway, you'll make it up, right? Wrong. Without sleep, you can't think straight. Not sleeping at night is a huge problem. It affects your mood, you feel irritable and depressed, it affects your productivity, you can't concentrate, you don't do well in school or at work, it affects the way that you feel about yourself and others. Lots of people substitute eating for sleeping, but the most important thing is that there's a cycle that you set up. You habituate, you get used to not sleeping. So each night you're worried that you're not going to sleep and you add one more anxiety to the list. Am I going to sleep at night? You set up a terrible cycle. Without sleep, you can't think straight. Words come out all twisted up and everything gets out of focus. Your hard drive freezes up. When you sleep, it's like you reset the computer. It runs a system check, fixes the error messages. You start over. And you need to hit that reset button every night so you can feel good mentally and physically. So what's it going to take to get you to see somebody? His wife wanted to know. She finally convinced him to see a doctor. Most patients complain of a medical condition, and a side effect of that condition is insomnia. So Mike's doctor checked his cholesterol, triglycerides, blood pressure, pulmonary functions, did an angiogram, stuck him on a treadmill, and hooked him up to an electrocardiogram, and what do you know? All normal. Which may have been a big relief to Mike, but not to his wife, who was being kept awake every night by her husband complaining that he couldn't sleep. Here was the rub. Since Mike hadn't come in complaining about not sleeping, but instead with the pain in his chest, the last thing on his doctor's mind was insomnia. She just wanted to make sure he wasn't going to die of a heart attack. So you're all better now, right? Mike did the right thing. He started his search at his doctor's office, as you should too, in order to rule out any underlying diseases. However, that might not be enough. Heads Up will help you dig deeper. Each and every time you come to realpsychology.com. <laughs>